Okay. We'll just cut it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, so, if you've ever had a Sprinter van or Mercedes diesel that has a flapper valve system and it utilizes a servo similar to this uh, with sensors, uh, this, this <laughs> operates the flapper valves inside the intake manifold uh, and they have a common problem of seizing failing to rotate, which kicks a code, which puts the truck into limp mode. Um, and we got this job in, and I couldn't believe that we couldn't get parts and rebuild this. The only solution was to replace um, the intake manifolds, and they were between five and 800 bucks a piece, so that adds a good chunk of change. Um, the job on this to pull and replace intake manifolds is uh, just over 10 hours, according to all data. So what we've done is come up with a way to remove the, um, the flapper servo and sensors from the intake and remotely mount them to the side. So when the servo operates, it sees the sensors operate correctly and it, it's a permanent solution. It sees sensors, it will not kick a code for positions, and it will not come back. And if it needs service or the servo craps out, you just replace it. On this truck here, if we see down in the corner, we've mounted it where it was easy to get at. The kit we sell, uh, we'll have it listed on eBay and in our own site. Uh, consists of a base, okay? The servo itself, you can see there. There's an arm and two sensors mounted on it. So the sensors are positioned right on the base in the correct positions. The servos mounted on there. Um, what we do is we supply two kits. There's two kits possible. One kit, the complete kit, comes with two sets of harnesses. There's three wires that need to be extended. <clears throat> if you want to leave the servo and the sensors on the engine and avoid 10 hours of labor, you can leave them in place. Simply unplug them, plug in our extensions, run them over to a safe, cool, dry place, and then plug them into the new setup, and you're off and run. And this process takes less than an hour and a half, two hours if you haven't had one of these apart. The other thing that we sell is we'll sell the base and the arm and the extensions for you to reuse your existing servo and sensors. So if you wanna pull the manifolds off, strip out the uh, flapper stuff that's on there, put them all back together, pull the servo and pull the sensors, and then just mount them off to the side. Um, you can do that too, but now you'll have to take the, the manifolds off. That'll, that'll create about a 10 hour job. And maybe you wanna pull the manifolds off, replace gaskets and whatnot. Um, we've tested it on this one extensively and it works perfectly. Now this is the three liter Mercedes diesel, OM, I don't know, I forget the series number, but I'll, I'll put it in the comments, I'll put it on the, on the listing. <clears throat> uh, anything with this system, uh, with this servo, and I'll put a picture of the sensors uh, on the page here uh, so you can see what they look like. If you have a similar setup, the application guide they look at, and I don't have a conclusive list of everything that it covers. As we sell these and we compile more data on what they fit on, but from what I can tell, anything with this three liter diesel that has the position sensors on the flapper valve system or the swirl valve system uh, in a servo, we should be able to do this. Now the kit we make, it comes with watertight seals. They're the OE connectors. So when you plug these in and extend them, you're not gonna have corrosion issues, things like that. Um, so you've got an option. Uh, you don't have to replace the manifolds. And honestly, these manifolds, even when you put new ones in, they're gonna go 150,000 miles. You're gonna be right back in the same boat. It's just a dirty, nasty mess. Now you might say, what am I damaging by doing this? Am I creating more problems? Well, doing my research, I found that these vehicles, this engine, in a lot of applications shipped into Europe, don't have a flapper system at all. So the same motor with manifolds without flapper systems. Um, 
And if they can get away with it, I'm sure we can. I'm sure it's here just for scavenging and uh, whatever the purposes are. There's plenty of carbon in there, even with these flapper valves. So I don't think you're gonna run into more carbon issues. So uh, as we have more experience and uh, you wanna pursue this option, I will put the link in the on the uh, page here and you can click on it, go over to eBay or go to our regular uh, sales site. Um, and you can get one of these kits in there. You know, so realistically, instead of being in limp mode, looking at $3,500 worth of repairs, for a few hundred bucks, you can have a system installed in the truck and you're back up and running in a couple hours. Um, the only last word about leaving everything in there. If you leave the swirl valve system in there and the servo in there, you might think, well, what if the valves are stuck open or stuck closed? We, hadn't, we have done both and we hadn't find any performance difference, whether they're open or closed. I imagine when they're open, or if you decide to strip the parts out so the ports are open, you'll have more, more capacity for uh, more volume, breathing easier, uh, that kind of thing. So I wouldn't hesitate to do either one. Uh, ideally, uh, it's, it's up to you. When these things have a couple hundred thousand miles on it, maybe it's not a bad idea to pull the intake manifolds off, strip all the guts out, clean them up, put some new gaskets on there. But your mileage will vary. Uh, any questions, uh, just drop them to us and we'll reply as uh, soon as we can. Thanks.